Hey friend, in this video, we are painting some festive, fun fall pumpkins. <laughs> um, we're only using one brush this entire tutorial and we've got a bunch of different C curves. It's really simple, super easy. And you can cut these out, put them up all over your house for the fall times, for the Halloweens, for the Thanksgivings, whatever. So if you're ready to learn how to paint these pumpkins, let's dive in. We are recording. <laughs> okay, so for our pumpkin, we're gonna be using a size 16 brush, Princeton Heritage 4050, one of my faves. Um, but for this pumpkin, I'm gonna do a short and stout pumpkin. But if you want like a longer, more round pumpkin, whatever, then you're just going to change the angle of the C curves that we're gonna be painting. So every stroke is going to be a C, C, C curve, I can't talk. Um, for each little section or groove of the pumpkin. So I'm going to load up my size 16 brush with some cadmium orange, a touch of Scarlet Lake. I might bring it over here. No, I don't clean my palette. You can if you want to, but that's how happy accidents happen, as Bob Ross would say. So I like to keep it like this. Okay, so I've got a mixture of cadmium orange, touch of Scarlet Lake, and a touch of burnt umber for my pumpkin color. I am going to lighten what's on my brush by releasing a lot of that pigment into my water and then swiping off the excess water on the edge of my cup. And we're gonna start with the left side of the pumpkin and we're gonna do a really accentuated C curve. The stroke you're gonna do is starting thin at the top, thin and then apply pressure and then release pressure. I'm gonna go back over that because my brush was too dry like so. So that's the left section of the pumpkin. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, but the angle of my C curve is going to be less and I'm gonna make sure to leave a little bit of white space between each section of the pumpkin. So I can start at the same spot or further, a little further over, apply pressure, and release pressure. If you touch the sides of this, the neighboring section, it's totally fine. But we wanna leave some white space. Then I might go here. And now we're starting to change the curve direction of our pumpkin. So we're starting from the same middle point. And trying to leave a little thin gap of white space. Then I'll grab my pigment that I mixed up and go in between here, kind of in these edges of each section. And while this is still wet, I'm gonna grab some burnt umber and a touch of Mars Black and use a really low angle on the handle of my brush closer to the paper. And so I can use the belly of the brush and I'm gonna start at the top of the stem and bring it down. I like that little brown bleeding into the orange. I think it's a nice touch. And I'm just going to the outsides of the stem with a little bit more Mars Black and adding some lines for texture. And 
And I might go back in and add a little peak up here. And then we can do another more oval shaped pumpkin, maybe a lighter one too. So I'm adding more cadmium orange to my mixture and do the same thing. We'll just drag it out for longer. So thin, apply pressure and then release pressure. And you can do the two outside strokes first if you want to help determine the shape and where your next moves will be. And just dragging up a dark, darker pigment along those edges of each stroke. And our stem. We can also add some leaves. I'm gonna do like a burnt green, a burnt umber and sap green mixture. Use the tip of my brush for these little curlies. There you go. There you have it. Super fun, very easy, pretty easy. Also, this is the same way you would paint a squash. So if you wanted to paint like a spaghetti squash or butternut squash, just slightly different shape, same strokes. But there you have it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and comment below with your with your favorite takeaway about today's tutorial, or maybe some other fun fall festive things that you would like to see us cover on this YouTube channel, comment below and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. And thanks for watching.